you've probably heard Christians say before that there's nothing you can do to make God love you more or less. This is a very deceptive statement because it implies that no matter what you do for good or for evil, whether sinful or righteous, God will let you into his holy presence, into heaven. And that just is not true. We know that God hates sin, and we know that God loves righteousness. And so if you do what is unholy, if you commit sin, and if you love sin, and if you have willful sin in your life, even though God loves you, he will reject you. You can say all day long that God loves sinners, or God loves the unrighteous, but God's love will not keep you out of hell if you don't repent of your willful sin. That is the deception that is happening in church. Christians love to say, God can't love you any more or any less. God loves you. But the truth is, God's love will not keep you out of hell unless you repent, confess, and start living righteously for him. He will cleanse you of your unrighteousness. You can't do it on your own. But unless you choose to repent and follow him, God's love will not save you. Why are there people in hell? God loves the whole world. He wishes that no one perish, but people are still in hell. And all of those people in hell, God loves. But they could not be saved because they loved darkness. Do you love darkness? Or do you love the truth of Jesus more? Are you willing to come to him and repent? Or will you stay in blackness?